السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر ریسپیکٹڈ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا بینفس اینڈ دا مرسی فل آل پریز از بیٹ ٹو اللہ دا لارڈ آف دا ورلڈ اینڈ سیلوٹیشنز اپون آبا نوبل پروفٹ محمد پیس بی اپون ہی مائی ڈیئر ریسپیکٹڈ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز مے دا پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز آف آل مائی ٹی اللہ بی اپون ایچ اینڈ ایوری ون آف یو ویئر ایور یو آر واچنگ اینڈ لسننگ می ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسپیک اباؤٹ صبر what quran and hadith says about sabr and what is the virtue of sabr mentioned in quran and hadith before mentioning hadith and quranic verses i would like to say that no one can have a blissful life without hardship my dear respective brothers and sisters we are living in this world so we have to sometimes we have to face trials difficulties hardship troubles but a true believer cannot be impatient my dear respected brothers and sisters a true believer either can be in the list of sabir in those who are patient or in the list of shakir in those who are grateful to almighty allah my dear respected brothers and sisters and sabr and patience one of the best and biggest blessings and mercies of almighty allah he has bestowed upon us so my dear respected brothers and sisters sometime allah tbarak wa taala test us with hunger with illness or with with many trials or difficulties but at the same time allah tbarak wa taala give us hope to my dear respected brothers and sisters he never leave us alone So my dear respected brothers and sisters what Quran says about sabr Allah tbarak wa taala mention in surah al miraj fasbir sabran jamila so be patient with gracious patience and my dear respected brothers and sisters on another place surah al anfal Allah tbarak wa taala mention inna allaha ma'as sabirin indeed allah is with the patient my dear respected brothers and sisters according to my knowledge according to me this verse is enough for the importance of patience my dear respected brothers and sisters allah tbarak wa taala is saying inna allaha ma'as sabirin indeed allah is with the patient and On another place Surah Al Imran Allah Tbarak wa Taala said wallahu yuhibbu as-sabirin and Allah loves the patient my dear respected brothers and sisters just think that Allah Tbarak wa Taala how much Allah Tbarak wa Taala love those who are patient so Allah Tbarak wa Taala praising them in Quran Pak especially in this circumstances where all of us suffering with this covid 19 my dear respected brothers and sisters people have no food people have no money people have no jobs so but this is time to show patient this is time to be grateful to almighty allah my dear respected brothers and sisters and same the rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said allah the exalted says I have nothing to give but paradise as a reward to my slave my servant a true believer who if I cause his dear friend to die he remains patient my dear respected brothers and sisters just imagine allah is saying i have nothing to give but paradise so paradise is confirm for the one who remains patient at the time of hardship at the time of problem at the time of difficulties my dear respected brothers and sisters and in second hadith the rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said as-sabru in the sadmati al-ula the prophet of almighty allah said patience is at the first stroke of calamity my dear respected brothers and sisters it's not that if we faced 
a trouble or difficulties and we are questioning on the decision of almighty allah and we are we are seeing many things and after that we are saying that no no i am i am showing patience no when first time you face trouble difficulties hardship and that time you are showing patience it means you are true believer my dear respected brothers and sisters we make dua that allah tbarak wa taala grant us to be grateful to him or to be patient one my dear respected brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh